This is Ricky Muscardo, 41 years old and he's just waking up for work. After fixing his bed, he usually washes his face as his daily routine every morning. For him, one of the most important things in the morning, especially when it's cold, is the coffee that will make him feel alive and energized before going to his work. While taking his coffee, he usually chats with his wife to know their condition and do kumustahan. Mom Ricky is a father of two girls who are now in the 7th and 5th grade. His family is staying somewhere in Manila and as for him, he prefers staying in their barracks in order to save money. Mom Ricky wakes up every 6.30 in the morning and at 7.40, he then starts to walk to go to work. He also said that the transportation from their home to work cost approximately 90 pesos and he didn't want to spend that amount every day. That's why, in order for him to save money, he often goes to home every Saturday. Mang Ricky works as a construction worker 15 years from now. For him, his inspiration to work this far is his family. He said that the cost of goods today are too expensive for him. That's why he works hard in order to earn money to sustain his family's needs. And while he preparing his tools, we do sightseeing of his workplace. And this is the outside of the building they were working. <laughs> Unemployment and underemployment are the Philippines' most important problems and the key indicators of the weaknesses of the economy. Today, 6 out of 10 Filipinos are working as a construction workers. Their job is to put up, demolish, repairs or renovation of buildings, roads, bridges, and all other civil works. All I can say that Mang Ricky is one of the hero workers. Without them, we have no good and strong shelters to live in. His work today is to make a passageway of wiring. As for him, he needs to make sure that the PVCs are in the right position to avoid these functions of circuits. It's already 9.30 in the morning and we finally got a time to have talk with Mang Reiki. During this time, he usually take his break and take a rest for a while. For today's Miranda, he spent 25 pesos and for him, this is enough for him to gain energy. While he's taking his break, we do roaming to his workplace and check some areas that weren't done yet. As you can see, everything is detailed and well made. All of this was made by Mang Reiki and his former partner. It's now 10 in the morning and let's go back to Mang Reiki and he then continued to do his job. This time, he's finishing the covers and the ceilings. It's already 11.30 in the morning, and as we can see, Mang Ricky is now going back to their barracks to take his lunch.
For his lunch today, his workmate orders adobong manok for him. During this time, we also feel hungry because of the smell of our favorite adobo. But we didn't want to bother Mang Ricky while he takes his lunch today. After taking his lunch, we had a little conversation about his job. And as for him, his salary is 700 pesos per day and it is distributed every Friday afternoon. This 3,500 every week was divided to buy his family's needs, give his daughter's allowances, buy food to eat, and save some amount for their bills. And after the talks with Mang Ricky, we give him time to rest for a while and he takes a nap while we're away. It's 1.30 in the afternoon. These sounds are usually the noises that Mang Ricky hears every day. For him, this is very normal especially to construction working sites and he is used to it. As you can see, Mang Ricky is making a hole in this junction box until the PVC fits on it. A junction box is an electrical enclosure that houses one or more wiring's connections. The box protects the connections which usually contain vulnerable points such as wire splices from environmental conditions and accidental contact. Construction work is not an easy job to do. It is physically demanding, which means that workers must be reasonably in good shape. These roles require long hours of standing, walking, bending, lifting, and dealing with dust and noise. This is Ricky Muscardo, and this is a day in his life as a construction worker. 